Uh, brothers and sisters, next we would like to hear another I testify story. And this time, the story, you will hear an audio uh, of the story by our sister Sumeya Shamim, who is one of the seniors at Al Huda School. She will be graduating from Al Huda High School in, inshallah, a little less than six months. So without further ado, we'll hear Sister Sumeya Shamim. since pre-k and I really enjoyed the early years there as I grew up with the same group of Muslim girls who became as close to me as sisters all the way through eighth grade. During that time I learned a lot about my deen, I learned how to read the Quran fluently and I learned how to speak, read and write proper Arabic along with all the other subjects. My family thought this was excellent. As we got to the last quarter of eighth grade a few of the girls including me started wishful thinking about attending public school after graduating from Al Huda Middle School because we felt that Al-Hudda school was too strict, and we wanted to experience a more relaxed atmosphere. After much debate and pleading with my parents, they agreed half-heartedly to send me to my local public high school. After the summer ended, I was looking forward to starting ninth grade at my public high school. Though I enjoyed the relaxed atmosphere at my high school, I noticed many things that were missing from the public school education. After a few months, I began missing the closeness that I shared with my Al-Hudda school classmates. It turned out that not many of them had left Al Huda after all. They were enjoying the close bond while I had to make new friends. Though I made lots of friends in my classes, they were all non-Muslim and I sometimes had to explain why I didn't participate in some of their social events. Also, there was no opportunity to pray my salads during the day as I was fortunate to have at Al Huda school. The school was not as relaxed as one would expect. For example, if you were late three times in a quarter, you'd get detention. Also, our teachers were required to write us passes every time we had to go to the restroom. There were also often fights between some of the students. On the academic side, I felt that I was not being challenged compared to when I was attending Ohana school. I felt that the education level was catering to the weakest students and I didn't feel that I was learning as much. While we may think that public school is a good option because it offers a relaxed atmosphere, you don't realize how conducive a structured Muslim environment like Ohana is for learning. In public school, it's hard to focus because of the rowdiness of some of the students, so this can affect one's performance and grades, which are important for getting accepted by a quality university. Throughout my year at public school, my parents were sometimes worried about if I was safe and if I was receiving a good quality of education. They always prayed that I'd return to the safe and friendly environment of my previous school. Alhamdulillah, their duas were answered. After that one year in public school, I decided I wanted to return to Al-Hara in order to increase the quality of my education and to enjoy the tight-knit community of caring teachers and close sisterhood with my fellow classmates. In closing, I say this to all my fellow students who are thinking of leaving al for public school. You don't know how fortunate you are to attend such a quality school as al -Hudda. The bonds we make with our Muslim classmates and teachers are everlasting and can benefit us even after we leave the school. <laughs> 